Okay, Shalom. Okay, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, bless him, Yahweh Shai. Okay, Brakatha Yahweh, bless him, Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Wakakadash. Okay, double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, elders of GMS. And salutation to you, brethren, you Hakim, that's pushing this truth, that's filling up the gaps on a highway and a byway, whose faith has been of that elect. Okay, you women as well, that's looking to escape the pollutions of this world. I mean, humbling yourself to learn this word. You very few. Okay, what I have here is something you need to watch if you haven't already seen it. Hell, if you already seen it, watch it again. You might catch something you didn't catch before. It's a very, very good documentary. And it's a three-part documentary. This is just one part here. What I'm watching it on, I watch it on, um, and take note of this, I watch it on um, 153 News. Dot net. It's an internet website that have amazing, um, very good, very good informative videos on what's going down now. Not that they have to repeat these people on these videos, make these videos have the truth. They just point out a lot of facts. And, uh, and again, a whole lot of videos that point the finger and uh, help pinpoint what's the problems of today's world. And, and, and so on and so on. It's like I said, it's amazing video. So you can either watch it on the whole thing on 153news.net or you can watch it here on BitChute. And I'm not sure if there's um, all three on, here on BitChute because right here I can see it says an hour and 13 minutes long when all three of them, the documentary that I've actually watched because the one I watched, it plays the whole doc, all part one, two, and three. It plays them all and it's well over three hours long, the whole thing. And again, it's it, it shed light even the even these devils of the world, um, other than Amalek, are waking up to the fact that these devils are who they are. You know, whole whole lot of en enemies of uh, of Israel, the people of Negro and Indian descent of the world, open enemies. They even know when waking up to this fact. Not that they found it on their own. These people have been listening to the men of the Lord. You know. And this is what these people fear. And this is what we're, we're starting to witness. We're starting to witness their fear manifesting itself. And through their fear, they're going to start, act, they're going to act. They're going to act through their fear because they fear of these future prophecies, which was given into their minds to know. They were given that spirit to know these things. Most eyes opening their minds so they can know these things. So imagine not knowing you're in, you're not as stressed about it because in your mind, there could be possibly be some hope. Think about it that way. There could possibly be hope, you know, and, and you're not as stressed out as much. But imagine knowing your end and knowing your end is coming soon. Imagine how stressful that can be then, you know, just imagine. So the Most High is, uh, he's making it a point for these devils to look. You know, that brings to mind the, the, the scripture here. Scripture and Revelation, which can't be stressed enough. Revelation 12 and 12, therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So these devils have to they have to manifest themselves as the devil. Well, what they are. Simple as that. It's as simple as that. You know? And his full wrath of being a devil is going to be uh, is going to be allowed to be displayed in the world. You know? Beautiful times. But what's wild is this devil know his times is coming. And um and uh what it it, it um uh you can go to here, you know what I'll do? I'll just do it here. Go to Jeremiah, the 16th chapter. And this is what they fear. This is what they fear. Jeremiah, this is one of the things they fear. Well, let me put it this way. This is one of the chapters that that uh, explains what these devils fear. You know, it says this. Therefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord, that it shall no more be said. The Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel 
out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. That north is North America. And from all the lands where he had driven them, scattered amongst the four corners. That's all the other, uh, uh, well, let's put it this way, all the nations on this earth. You know, all land masses on this earth, the children of Israel has been scattered. Our islands as well. He scattered the Israelites amongst these other lands. And from all the lands where the, he had driven them, and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. Not the 1948ers. <laughs> that was a political move, a mili political military move. You know, how they were able to accomplish that. Uh, the 1948, for the 1948ers, you know, um, so it was in the hands of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, you know, you don't hear the name amongst them, the name that they actually fear, they fear that name, they will never say that name, they will never utter that name, they won't even think the name, you know, so they thought they're. They done re erased the name up out of the world, you know, but this is a spiritual thing. So it says, behold, I will send for many fishers. So like it, but the Lord liveth that brought the children of Israel out of the land of the north and from all the lands whither he had driven them. And I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. Behold, I, I will send for many fishers, said the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and all the holes of the rocks where they like to dwell, you know. For my eyes are upon all their ways, and that's a secret. It not not so like I said, that's a secret, but that just shows you uh, um, out of the holes of the, um, it's like it. And they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. Those that brings to mind um, uh, domes which is deep underground military bunkers and they have them all over you know for my eyes are upon all their ways and they thought they they thought the eyes of the lord power were uh, were blind to what they were doing he thought they you see what they're doing he thought they they really thought that the most high was with their foul wickedness you know they are not hid from my face neither is their iniquity hid from my eyes and a lot of these iniquities and a lot of these foul ways of these heathens, man, are now start beginning to come out in a lot of these documentaries, these identity thieves. And first, I will wreak upon their iniquity and their sin double because they have defiled my land. We're not in that land right now. Heathens are in that land right now. The enemy, you know. Um. It says, they have filled my inheritance with the carcasses of the detestables and abominable things. If you only knew what was going on in that land, just look for it yourself, man. Then you'll know, you know, how all that, uh, uh, and, and I mean, the sins that are punishable unto death, is, uh, it's, all, it's, all, it's all been lifted up there. It's what it was the scripture that comes, I said a scripture, uh, Something that comes out of their um, their um, unholy book, the the, the shit mud, um, speaking on marrying a woman being eligible to marry a priest is if she lie down with a beast, if she lie down with a damn beast, she's eligible to be married to marry a priest. You can't. You, and, and the funny thing is, we're not making these things up. Like we're, uh, you know, playing the dozens uh, amongst friends and we're talking shit, you know, we're cracking on each other. No, no, no. This is all reality, you know. Here, let me see if what, what comes up. If I do a quick search on this. Let's see what comes up.
I used to have a whole lot of stuff on the tower, but I, I, I don't know, I'm not sure if it's on my phone or I wouldn't know where to find it if I was looking for it anyway. I used to have a whole lot of information on this uh, through the years I've collected, but This Edomite is. Here we, let me see. Let me see what this says here. Talmud versus Torah. Okay, Sodomy, thou shalt not lie with mankind as womankind. Is abomination Leviticus. Here's a Talmud states in Sanhedrin 54D. If one committed sodomy with a child of less than nine years, no guilt is inquired. You see? You see what he he he, he what he means by um, for my eyes are upon all their ways and they are not hid from my face neither is their iniquity hid from my eyes so that means if he knows he's going to let us know and we're able to bring it all out that's how that's how the world find these things out through the prophets man you know and, I, and first I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double because they have defiled my land they have defiled the land of Israel defiled How long to profane, defile, pollute, desecrate? And what's the scripture? Is it in Hebrews? Is it Hebrews? I'm not sure if it's Hebrews 10, but uh, it says Esau is profane. And Ammo, and Ammo is uh, one of the sons of Esau. You know? can't hide that you can't hide that just continue to read some of these here respectful parents it's crazy you can cuss your parents out with no problem enchanting no None of you shall be an enchanter or a charmer or a consorter with familiar spirits. Okay, but, but the, the mud says it is permitted to, to consult by a charm, by a charm, the spirits of oil and eggs and make incantations. <laughs> sexual, look, look, sexual immorality. The mud is... A harlot's hire is permitted for what the woman has received is legally a gift. <laughs> Women having intercourse with a beast can marry a priest. The act is but a mere wound. So we didn't make these things up. This is in their book, which they never thought we would learn to read this book. They never would thought we would have the platforms to bring it out, you know, but through their greed, you know, they never thought the Internet would turn against them. You know, all that wealth and power they have, man, is that it, it bred pride, you know, it's, it, it that pride, man, you know. So let me go back to the Jeremiah. I'm going to close up here before I continue. I got to quote the Revelation 2 and 9. You know, I know thy works, tribulations and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Yeah. And I should be, I, IUIC has helped doing their bidding. Um, So it says here, F, and first I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double because they have defiled my land. They have defiled my inheritance with the carcasses of their detestable and abominable things. Okay, verse 19, O Lord, my strength, 
and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction. The Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies. Surely our fathers have inherited one of those. What are one of those lies? They're one of those identity thieves. They were identity. They were identity thieves, and they were raised to believe that I, that that theft was uh, actually theirs. You know, vanity and things wherein thou, there is no profit, and this is what they're going to work so hard to. They're trying to prevent this from happening. Shall a man make gods unto himself? And they are no gods, you know. And that's what Amalek. That's what that's what uh, these demons are all about, you know. The Babylonian ways, which pretty much that's what they're following after. The ancient Babylonians, that old religion madness, the old time religion madness, you know, going on gods that are no gods. What does it say here? And this is play. This help plays into it being in a chanter and a charmer, or in a consort with familiar spirits. That goes into that. They're trying to call on them fake gods. Um, let me see if there's something else on that in here. I'm glad I found this. You know. Priest, the act of us. Remember, let me read this. The, con the, the scripture in contrast condemns bestiality. You shall not lie with any beast, nor shall any woman stand before a beast to lie with it. The difference are astounding and obviously to any who would honestly research or study the matter. The elemental principle of each faith have no relevance to each other. They are, in fact, at enmity. Contrary, in other words, you know, an enemy with each other, good versus evil, evil versus good, you know, and this is what the most high created, he created both, you know, which he thought as their basic philosophies differ greatly. Furthermore, concerning the posture, one will hold towards speaking truthfully and being honorable people of a scriptural background believes a man's word is his honor. However, that is not the case with all cultures. Scriptures require us to be honorable. If a man vows, he shall not break his vow. He shall do according to all that he spoke. Correct. The, the mud, on the other hand, again, offers a significant contract in Nether and realm. Every vow which I, I may make in the future shall be nulled. <laughs> These people are complete demons, man. You know, look at the face. Look at that face, though. That's less on point. You see that stare? You see that look? That's really them, man. That's really their spirit they have. You can't make that up. Okay. It said, therefore, behold, I will this once cause them to know. I will cause them to know my hand and my might. And they shall know that my name is the Lord Yahweh. Shimmy, I was shy. Um, here, let me see if I can grab this real quick, so I can so before I close. Um, I'm close on this. It's always good to close on this. Always good to close on this. <laughs> it's always good to close on this. It says, "Rejoice and be glad, O daughter." This is Lamentation four and twenty one. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwelleth in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken, and shalt make sure they shall make thyself naked. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee into captivity. He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. He will discover thy sins. And this, and again, this is a very, very good documentary to watch. And it's a you know the world their skin their sins are being discovered. 
and been brought out in the face of the whole world. <laughs> you know, everybody's realizing, oh, they can't be the chosen people, which they're not, which they're not. All right. So um, uh, there was a good this video was made just for good um, uh, public service PSA, public service announcement. For those that haven't know that doesn't know about this documentary here, so um, give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. Hope we're uh, edified. Till next time, Lord willing, Shalom.